here's the canyon side, and then here's some fun climbing formations. And I'm so glad I brought my climbing shoes. Do it! Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Grandma. I just got off work. I'm going to check out this place called Horseshoe Bend. They were talking about it at work, so I wanted to check it out. I'm getting out here at like six something. So I think I'm gonna be able to catch a pretty beautiful sunset. They do have a bunch of toilet facilities right by the parking lot. And this place is so popular. This is like lamely popular. Look how many freaking people are here. There are so many cars. Like all the way from there, full to there, and then it freaking L's all the way over here. It's so lame. They do have trash cans. So they do have toilets, and the toilets are literally just hole in the ground. Not really well kept. Uh, hand sanitizer. Since there's so much tourism here with the Asians, they do not want you squatting on the toilet. I don't know why, I personally think it's a more comfortable style of using the toilet, but... There's a van life, van life over there. So many RV lives over there. Page Arizona, up in their game. Look at this, it's a very nice recycle facility right here. Still got my work shoes on. I should probably put my hiking shoes on. Much better. And this is what we're going to read before we go. What are we taking? A small three-fourth of a mile hike. <laughs> That's baby hike. Baby hike, but the terrain is rough. Dude's falling, dude's tripping. No drones. <laughs> There are so many people here. Hundreds. They're doing construction or building stuff. So it's like all crossed out. But I really like these barriers. It's literally just like pine, pine logs bolted together. Notched out. So my coworkers were telling me that people actually die here, like a couple people every single year. Which is kind of, uh, I totally understand it now because there's just a ton of people. If you get bumped, you're gonna fall off the edge. That is a long way down. Oh my gosh. There are so many people here, but I can guarantee you that I am the only person that brought chicken wings. All right, so I figured this place out. Once you get here, it's really lame. Once you get to the canyon, it's even lamer because there's like 400 people there taking selfies. But if you keep walking north, um, following the canyon, eventually you will find a little bit of seclusion. So I found a little bit of seclusion out here. I guess the more, the more you keep walking that way. And then the more you keep walking that way, there's more tourists. And also, don't come at night. I think it's gonna be way better during a sunrise rather than sunset because the angle that the light's coming from the light that's coming right now, the light's coming from there, the light's coming this way, and the canyon is that way. So it'll be much more lit up during a sunrise coming over that certain time of the day, coming into the canyon will probably look a lot better. I'm gonna enjoy these chicken wings. I totally see how people have died here. There's like no, there's no administration, and there's so much cliff. Like, look at all that cliff. All that cliff and then all that cliff where all the people are there's so much cliff even me here by myself getting towards the edge i still feel like someone could just come up behind me and just bump into me and i'd be tumbling off it would suck i'll probably come here again i'm gonna come here during a sunrise i'm gonna finish this last chicken wing i hope you guys enjoyed if you haven't already please give the video a thumbs up if you have any encouraging comments i would love to hear them thanks everybody for watching and i'll talk to you guys in the next video bye i found a hippie symbol hippie signal destroyed